Every time your business hires a new employee, accepts a new order, or adds a customer, you need to enter their information into your database. In this movie, I'll show you how to add a new record to a table using VBA. We're going to be using the salespeople table, so I'll just open that real quick to indicate what information we have in there. So over in the navigation pane, double click salespeople, and you don't need to follow along if you don't want to, but just to show you what's here, we currently have three individuals, and then I'm going to close the table by pressing Control W. And now we're going to use the add new code module. So here in the modules section of the navigation pane, I'll double click add new, and there we have the code. I've already put in the skeleton of the subroutine. So we have add new and then the end sub statement. And then I've created a variable my r as a record set. And then I've used the set command to assign that variable my r to an open record set action on salespeople. So in other words, my r is going to operate on the contents of the salespeople table. With that information in place, we can put in the commands that will add a new record to that table. That code starts out with my r, m y, capital R, then a period, and we're going to use the add new method. It's the second one in the list, so I'll press the down arrow twice to highlight add new, and then press tab, and then press enter. That method adds a new row to the record set. Now we can assign valuables to the different fields. To do that, type my r, and then an exclamation point, and this allows us to put in a field name. That field name is enclosed in square brackets, so we type a left square bracket, and then SP first name. So SP, short for salespeople, then first name, and there are no spaces anywhere in that field name. Then type a right square bracket, space and equal sign, and then the value in quotes. And in this case, that value will be Curtis, so double quote. C-U-R-T-I-S, double quote, and then press enter. Now we'll do the same thing to add the last name of Fry to the SP last name field. So it's my R, exclamation point, left square bracket, SP, last name, L-A-S-T, N-A-M-E, right square bracket, space, then an equal sign, and again, the value in quotes. And we'll do double quote Fry, F-R-Y-E, or you can use any name you like, and then press enter. So there's that information. Now we need to tell access to update the table, and that is my r, period, update, up, d-a-t-e, and press enter, or tab. Both will work. So with that information there, this code will add a record with the name Curtis Fry to the salespeople table. I'll press F5, and then go back to the main database window by pressing Alt F11, and then in the navigation pane, double clicking salespeople. And when I do, and we see that Access has added a new record with a salesperson with the first name Curtis and the last name Fry. In this example, I assigned the new records field values in the code, but you could just as easily get the value from another source, such as a text file or a form.